Welcome to this video series on LMN time tracking. These videos are designed to give you a 20,000 foot view of LMN time tracking and the kinds of things it can do. They're not intended to be tutorial videos. That's a whole other playlist on our YouTube channel. And if you're looking for a hands-on tutorial of how to use LMN time tracking, you may wanna go there. But if you're looking to just dip your toe in and see what it is we do, you're in the right place. When we built LMN time tracking for our own landscape company, we had already tried some mobile payroll apps. And what we found is that most of those apps are designed around doing payroll, and maybe they do a little job costing. In many cases, the payroll is great, but the job costing is kind of an afterthought. It takes a lot of reporting and corrections to get the job costing right. Staff is constantly reviewing it and changing timesheets to get things the way they should have been. And to actually get meaningful job costing reports, you got to pull the reports and once again have a meeting with the crews to tell everybody how things are going. We wanted to flip that model upside down. If we're gonna make payroll and consistently make good payroll, then we need to be making money in our company. So we built a system that does job costing first and payroll second. First and foremost, Element Time is a job costing system where you set up jobs and tasks and every hour the crew works on those jobs and tasks is tracked towards them. At the same time, we're gonna do payroll. We'll track that hour's information on each job and generate each crew's paychecks. But the important difference is that every single payroll hour has to be tracked to some job. It could be a customer job or it could be a job internally for our company, like shop setup and loading, for instance. But every payroll minute has to get allocated to a job so that we know where every single hour in our company's payroll is getting spent. The reason it works for job costing is because crews complete the job costing timesheets correctly because that's how they're gonna get paid. Job costing isn't an afterthought of payroll, job costing is payroll. And in order to get paid for the hours they work, they have to track their time accurately to the jobs they're working on. So in order to do time tracking and element timesheets, you need two core things, staff and jobs. Staff are easy to set up. Element time is not a payroll type application. We don't do state by state payroll codes, we don't calculate taxes, that's up to your accounting or your payroll system. But we will track the time to the jobs very accurately so that you can do payroll and job costing at the same time. So the setup of each employee is pretty basic, name, their role, which determines what kind of access they have to the system. And you can set up some other fields like payroll warnings and whether they're a subcontractor or not. Jobs are the crux of element time. Jobs are what the crews are going to clock into in order to track their time. So for instance, I could set up a construction job for the Able Tree Front Landscape Project. Tasks are core to tracking the time. The tasks I set up here are going to determine what the crews are allowed to clock into. In this case, they've got four main tasks, patio, garden and planning, lighting, and changes and extras in case other things come up while we're doing the work. If things are billable by the hour, like changes and extras, you can also set up hourly rates that the crews can clock into. They won't see the rates necessarily, but they will pick the roles that each person is working so that the right rate can get charged for the hour's work. You can also track a level of materials with element time. You wanna track simple materials like mulch or salt so that you can see what was used on a job. That's fine, you can do that. We don't recommend tracking long lists of construction materials in general, we found it's just not accurate enough, but you can track materials or tasks through element time by setting up job activities. And if they're billable, you can set up rates for those as well. Element time works equally as well for maintenance or snow contracts. The only thing that's really gonna be different are your tasks. Your tasks will still have estimated hours for each task, and you can set up tasks like mowing, cleanups, pruning, and enhancements to break out the time accordingly. Each task can be set up to have a specific number of visits and an average time per visit so that you can do time tracking and planning, which also links over with our scheduling application. As the crews are doing the work, you're gonna be able to grab any job and click the review tab, and you'll get a live real-time update of estimated versus actual hours on that job as of this very minute. Best of all, the crews can see this too. The foreman will track all the time for the crew but given this system, the foreman will be able to log in at any point and at one click of a button, be able to take a look at the task they're working on 
and see how many hours were originally estimated and how many hours they've used to date. And this data is right up to the minute when they're looking at the report. In this respect, we create that urgency around getting a job done on time. If the foreman knows exactly how many hours and exactly where they stand at any given moment, you can bet there's gonna be a greater sense of urgency to get that job done on time. If we're not talking about job costing reports or estimated versus actual hours, you could also bet your foremen are getting the jobs done, well, whenever they get them done and not necessarily motivated by a specific deadline. Human beings work to deadlines. When your estimates are due on Wednesday, you're doing your estimate on Tuesday night, some of you even Wednesday morning. In the same sense, we want the crews to have that same urgency as we get to the end of a job. When we start using up all those estimated hours, we need that crew to rally around their goal to get the job done on time so that we can make money on the job so that we can pay our crews well. Keep watching the videos in the rest of this playlist for lots more information on how the crews track their time, what you can see on the staff dashboards and the job dashboards, approving timesheets, running reports, and even syncing all this information to QuickBooks. Or for more information, check out our website at www.golmn.com.